What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I am back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore j-o-r-d-o-n and we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this video we can't not blur the goddamn battle zone okay you know what i'm saying when men become simps when men become uh well yeah they, nah there's a lot of those out yeah, there man. they walk over you no no, I ain't gonna, no 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 i'm not saying him no 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 don't do that don't do that i love all my men here i can i can say that you know i can say that genuinely you know what I'm saying? But when men become simps, right? Women take over us and women, women with power are detrimental. I they would, they, the women love to find a man that they can gouge on, okay? I'm they confused gouge. though because just because I need a woman to love herself. Because we're gonna have the problems that she, she gotta don't. love you. I don't need bro. Her to love me more. Let this man speak. She she gotta love. Oh, the question okay. is, the question is, I get you. Do I want my woman to love me more than you love her? No, I need her just to love herself. No, I know what you're saying. So what does loving herself got to do with Because this? I don't want her to love me more than I love her. I want her to love herself. I'm going to love myself, and we're going to be together. That's it. I'm a leader. So I don't tolerate the her? bullshit. I'm going to love her. So what Absolutely. happens if you love her more than she loves you? If I love her more than she loves me, yeah. then she might leave me. Exactly. So she why would you want I'm that? I'm right with that so because that so means she don't love herself. Now, and what happens if she loves you more than you love her? I don't, I don't care. I'm going to love myself. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. That, that so, 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 no, I, I, listen, what I'm saying is, if I love her a lot, and, and I tell her one day I love you first, and she does never say it, she's not obligated to say it to me. I get that. She could, she could show it, or she cannot. If I feel like she's not showing it, then I'll move forward, and I'll leave her by, and I'll keep it moving. If she loves me more than I, if I never say I love you to her, she tells me, then let's see where it goes, and let's see if I wind up loving her the way she loves me. All right, Dave, look. I'm not going to take advantage of the situation because okay. she told me she loves me first. This That, that sounds cool. Let me break this down for you, right? Go ahead. I'm going to tell you what you Tell said. me, Spooner. I'm going to tell, yeah, <laughs> tell you what you just told me, right? You just told me that if you love her more than she loves you, then she may leave you. That's what you said. Right, but that... Yes, I did say that. Yes, I did say that. Yes. But if you love her more than she loves... I mean, but if she loves you more than you love her, you're not going to leave her. Correct. Correct. I'm a great so, man. That's because so, I'm a great man. What about so her? Do that you, makes her so a shitty do you woman. Think, so do you think that it'll be fair or, I guess, beneficial for your relationship if she loves you more than you love her versus the opposite way around? If it's beneficial, say that again. Like, beneficial for your relationship in the longevity aspect, Right. Is it that for you, for her to love you more than you love her, is that more beneficial for your relationship versus you loving her more than she loves you? That's the real question. I don't, I don't. Uh, as a woman, um, I personally feel for myself, <laughs> like for my own self, I can only speak for myself, but... As a woman, I have to love the man more. I have to love him more. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love me um, the same, or it doesn't mean that he doesn't love me equally. But I like, I would like to, I have to feel like I'm, I love you so much because I know a major, a lot of women, I know a, a good amount of women who, um, if their man loves them more, um, it's easy for them to mistreat them, disrespect them, um, you know, just kind of like treat them like whatever and just continue to move forward. Whereas if a woman really loves a man, she will do her best to like stay on point, be respectful, um, be cooperative, like follow his lead. It's, it's a lot easier for a woman to do that. Um, and it depends on the dynamics of the relationship. It depends on the reason why you're together. You know, if, if it's not really about love and uh, attraction, it's more about, like, finances or whatever the case may be because we know that there's so many different reasons why people get into a relationship, then I think that's a different kind of conversation. But if you want a woman that's going to kind of, like, love you, respect you, esteem you, esteem being a very strong word because that's a, that's a big part of a relationship, um she would have to love you more, in my opinion. I don't have a good answer for that. 
You answered it already. You answered it. Say yes. I need to. I just say yes. You answered it already. Because in one aspect, you're telling me she's going to leave you. And the other aspect, you're telling me you're not going to leave her. So she needs to love so so she needs to love you way more than you love her in your mind. She needs to love me way more than in, I love. In order for y'all to stay together because you said well, she it, loves you. Yeah, because I guess she said if it's my Listen, I guess so, but I'm not Ali. those are things I'm not worried about, you know. That's not your focus. I, it, it's not my focus. I deal with the day to day basis, how we treat each other, the respect we have on that day, that will lead to another great day. And if I find out in time that I'm not getting that reciprocated, that I'll walk away. I'm not. I'm not looking to the future. I'm, I'm concerned about now. How are we treating each other now? Are you showing me that respect? That you you trustworthy? You're honest. That's what. And, and then I'm watching you how you treat yourself. Right. That would. So, but but in the in those things as well, she would have to be loving you more. You know, to be so so. Um, committed and de- dedicated, and I hate to say that, but that's like the if you look at modern women now, like. There is no commitment. There is no dedication. There is no honesty, trust, or loyalty. So the best bet, <laughs> you know, the best bet is to try to be with somebody who's uh, genuinely in love with you and really in love with you, like overly, so that, um, you know, the relationship can be successful. But on the other token, on the other token, um, when a woman is so in love with a man, um, maybe more in love with the man than the man is with her it's easy for that woman to try to gain possession of that man you know start start like oh that's my man my man this my man you know get jealous and get all of these things so that's another thing to consider too yeah how you treat yourself i'm not worried about if she loves me more it's not an obligation love is something that if you don't love yourself you're never going to show me that you love me if you don't love yourself. No, nah, I don't think that's true because some people don't know how to love themselves, but they can love everybody else. Nah, that's, that's fake love. But that, that's I'm, fake that's love. going off on that's a fake love. I'm going to tell y'all, that's you're going off on a tangent. I'm going to tell y'all where, where, where all this that's is fake wrong love. from the beginning, right? When we talking about women. And I told Rico this all the time. When you first think about the woman, when you're getting in the relationship, no, she's capping. That's the number one thing. So while y'all basing your whole life story and decision making upon whatever you make it, any type of decision about, understand when she opens her mouth 90% of the time, she's fucking capping. So when you realize that, then you know she got to love you way more than you love her. You got She got to because once you realize she's fucking capping all the time, you're going to be like, yo, I need to, yo, I, I need to go somewhere. So you, so then she let you go out. And most men cheat on a girl before they become their wife. It's standard business. It's nothing crazy. Okay? You cheat on her because you need to know if she really fucking loves you or not. Period. And once you cheat on her, right, and she doesn't leave you, and, you, and she still starts to tell you the truth, and she still say, yo, you can run the money, and she still wants to go out, and she wants to suck your dick, you got to win her. Yo, can I can Period. I can I pick it can I pick it back on that real quick? Period. I got a saying that I learned from an OG long, long time ago, right? Right? <laughs> Women know exactly who they are dealing with when they come to you, right? If does that make sense to you, you know, fellas? Yep. Mm-hmm. Women know what games they can run when they come to a certain man. True. So they know they can run. I need the three hundred dollars for my rent. I need the seventy dollars for my nails. I need the hundred and fifty dollars for my phone bill, and when they come to easy, they're like, "Yo, baby, what's up? Call me when you're ready." You know what I'm saying? Right. They know. So when you w- with that question there, you know, should a woman love you more than you love her? Of course, it gotta go like that because most men, you know, what I mean, Rico was talking facts. I mean, uh, SO was talking facts, but yeah, most men will cheat on their woman before the woman cheat on them. But at the end of the day. She got to know that she's with the winner. And she's going to know that. And you're going to know that by the type of game she runs. If you're always hearing, I need the $70, I need the 350 I need the 150 Yeah, bro. You're number two, three, four, five on the list. And she's coming to you like, yo, pick me up when you're ready. She got you as number one, okay? And that's the one that's loving you more than you love her. And at the end of the day, might potentially get the ring. It's so funny because my potentially get the ring is the key word that he just said. My potentially get the ring because of the love and admiration and esteem, once again, and the respect. But um, it's so funny because I knew somebody, 
And her mother said to marry a man that loves you more than you love him because as a woman you will grow to love him. And that was just like the worst piece of advice that somebody could ever give because at the end of the day, um, it, it doesn't mean that you don't want somebody that's going to love you, right? But I guess it depends on what kind of woman it is. But women are so easy to take a man for a fool and to play games with him. And like, if you allow yourself to be a doormat for a woman, she will jump, skip, and hop all over you. So um, I like the way that he just said that because it's true. Women do know. We know. If we walk up to you, we know who you are. By the things that you're saying, by your energy, your vibe, like a woman will know what kind of person you are. She will know what kind of category to put you into based off of your approach, based off of like your first initial conversations. And she'll know if it's somebody that she can't get over on or somebody that has a lot of respect for themselves and how to move accordingly. So that's very true. Women know exactly what games they're going to run with who they're going to run it with. I and that's the fact, though. That's think... because they could run those games on the men who love her more than she loves them. Yeah. Fact, though. She'll run that game. Listen, fact, and that's not just, a, it's not just a woman. It's anybody. Anybody yeah. will take advantage when they can. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So once once anybody is already submitting, you're going to already take. It's just natural to take more because you can get more from it. I don't know. I would say, and you heard me say this many times before, I give to give. You don't take... you. The person who's taking advantage of is the one that don't know what the fuck he's doing. I know what I'm doing. So no woman's taking advantage of me. That's that bullshit that people want to escape. You're not taking advantage of me. I know what I'm doing. I'm in the knowing. I know exactly what I need to do, where I need to be. I do for myself perfectly fine. So no woman's taking advantage of me. So I'm loving you because I'm loving myself. It's very simple. If you do not love me in return, then I'll move forward to somebody else. You know, nobody here is obligated. This is the shit that motherfuckers want to do. They want to hold on to shit. I don't want to play that game. Who's going to stop the pattern? I'm a pattern fucking breaker. I'm stopping the pattern. I'm not playing that game. I don't have to fuck somebody else in order for you to cry, suffer to show me that you love me. That's called immaturity. I'm yeah. not doing that fucking game. That's what that's called. I agree with that. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. That is, that's very immature thinking. If you're thinking like, oh, let me cheat on her, give her, you know, me mentally and emotionally break her just to make sure that she loves me, that's definitely playing mind games. And that's definitely super immature. And I think that men who already know what they are, think like that they think like him where it's like they just come they just you know step up and they're like yeah okay i'm giving you an opportunity we're together if you mess it up that's on you because i know that i'm the prize so i think that's a very good point and people are making all these faces but i think that's that's a strong point maybe it's because he's a more you know older man than them i'm not sure how everybody's ages i'm just going off of like the salt and pepper in his hair but that's a that's a nobody has to do go over and beyond to hurt you to see if you love them. I think that's that's true. I, the cap, I, but the cap, but wait, wait, hold on, Rico. But the cappers are playing that game. Go ahead. I've just but, well, they are cappers. That's just <laughs> no, not. But me. listen, also, I want to, you know, before we change, I'm shock. Well, well, so, I, I, you got to see. Listen, <laughs> hug this. Right. Hug this. No, well, well, at least with Bobby <laughs> shot, because he shot me and you kissing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he he like, not gonna let that go. I get off. I want to say one thing. Let's say one thing, right? My young brother is kissing the ball. Let me give it to Kill me now. I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm not mad at you. That's not what I'm mad at. That's why he's not mad. Leave me alone. But listen, though, right? Who knows if he's really capping then? Yeah, oh, stop, it. stop it. Listen, stop it. Stop <laughs> okay, it. I mean, so listen. Read, read my I'm, trusting, Yo, I'm trusting what you're saying. Solo no I'm cap trusting. zone here. Anybody and, you want to verify my shit, you want to look it up, check it out. That's my real right. name is Randy Parker. Check your credentials. You don't even got to worry about this one. Go get that's the right. real one, too. All right? <laughs> but Fuck that. Just to what, what, just pick it back on what you said real quick, right? You said, um, you know, who cares, right? I said, man, we got to care. Because, yo, we are financing these women's lifestyles, bro. 
That's for you. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I know women that are financing. I know women we, that are financing their life. No, no, no. We men are. Women are not doing There's this. Women thing. financing their life. I, nah, I, bro. Listen. I've been in a relationship with women that finance themselves. Listen, women, right. do not, women, women do not. Women do not. Here. Women do not finance their lifestyles, bro. Women yeah, do I'm not. not do. About, he's talking about in the most part. Not All right. The, We're talking about. Couple, yeah, they pay their car insurance. Yeah, they pay their phone bill, so you can call them all. Right. But the minute they need something. Who do you think they're going to call? A male. And that's what I'm talking about, fellas. Right? We need to keep in mind that, yo, we can't not, like, let go of this, oh, I want to be nice. And then no, no, fuck that. You're paying, you're financing this woman to, uh, one day to be like, I'm not going to mess with you no more. But that same $150, $200, $300 is going to last for a whole month. And she's going to find a new Dave or a new Jerry yeah, bro, or a new but Chris. But you're not going to change the herd. They say Rico. But you're not, but, <laughs> no, like, but you're not going to change the herd and Sims' mind who can't get this on their own. So you're, so you're fucking barking up the wrong tree right, because I mean, they don't have... It's like me. Like, real talk, just one second. People will, act, will say to me, well, what did you do when you was getting these women and you was doing all that? I said nothing. I rarely talked to them. I didn't. I, I I I wasn't amazed by them. To be honest, I totally fucking ignored them, <laughs> and that's what worked for me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But if I walk around and tell somebody that I, I've told people that, and they be like, "Yo, that works for you. That don't work for me." And I'll turn around and say, "Did you try it?" No, nah, I didn't try it. So while you while you giving them the gospel. These same herds is making the world keep going around because when they talk to you, they say, oh, he not with the game. Oh, you not with the game. Exactly. Oh, they, he with the, with, the game. Game. They with the game. They with the game. I'm okay. with the game. Oh, I got a stack. I got you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even saying Dave is a guy. I'm, I'm, using, it. I, I'm using it as an example. I'm not talking about Dave. <laughs> no, if, they, if, they, if Dave wants to do whatever he wants to do. I'm I, think, I, I think the thing that works for him is his surety. Women like a man that's sure, not a man who's kind of like halfway there, don't know if he's there, don't know what's really what. Like a man that can hold his own and be strong, that's what a woman is attracted to. So I don't necessarily think it's the ignoring and the not paying attention. I think it's just more of the fact that he's so sure of himself and so um, has so much, again, respect for his own self that as a woman, you're like, hmm, like it's intriguing. It's, it's intriguing when you have someone that... Uh, keeps you on your toes but i want to know what you guys think about this comment um this uh, video make sure you guys leave your comment in the comment section down below um again if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button i do post a video every single day if you hit the notification bell it will notify you as soon as i post um make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and again if you're not following me on instagram follow my instagram it's at r-i-v-a-h underscore j-o-r-d-o-n i thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah.